Hey, my name is Phil with webautomation.co and in this video, I want to talk about the best active campaign alternative available and I want to explain to you why I believe this is also the best alternative. Now, this particular platform that I'm going to introduce you to is called InCharge and InCharge is a marketing automation platform. I know Active Campaign also has some CRM features. However, when it comes to email marketing, when it comes to marketing automation, then InCharge is going to be your best bet. Now, let me just quickly show you the differences between these two platforms and why I believe it is the best alternative. So first of all, if I come to pricing, pricing is usually where all of the features are listed. Now inside of Active Campaign, we've got here four different types of plans. If you look in the different types of plans, in the light you get marketing automation, email marketing, you get unlimited sending, a drag and drop builder, plus you get templates, newsletters, forms, segmentations, site and event tracking, as well as campaign and automation reporting. You also can import your leads, segment your outreach, and add in customer newsletters and analytics. So it's pretty powerful, right? And you get a lot of things inside of it. If you decide to upgrade to Plus, you'll also get landing pages, page templates. You'll also get Facebook custom audiences, contact scoring, SMS marketing, and a bunch more. Automation maps is also available in Plus. So it's pretty cool. You get sales and CRM as well inside of it. So it's an extremely powerful platform. The further you go up, the more features you're going to get also, but that's where you're starting to pay a crazy amount of money. Now, if we look at InCharge, we have here very basic um, pricing, but the features are actually listed here. Um, so we've got Flow Builder, we've got User Profiles, Lead Scoring, Website Tracking, Email Personalization, Broadcast, Behavioral Emails, Email Editor, Free Email Verifications, Transactional Emails, A-B Tests, and User Segments. So you'll probably notice that there's no landing pages inside of here. This company's actually just launched, I think, just over a year ago. So they don't have it out just yet, but it is coming out in the next few months. So it isn't quite on the same ballpark. However, the reason I've decided this was the best active campaign alternative is a lot of people are actually moving to in charge from uh, active campaign. And I know that because I'm in their Facebook group and people are sort of stating that they've come from here. So what are you actually going to get? Let's have a look at the pricing, right? So it starts in zero to two, two to five, five to 10. So to get the same number between these two platforms, I'll, I'll take it to the 5,000 mark because everything isn't quite aligned from there. So up to 5,000 subscribers, you're going to be paying $99 and in charge. If you want premium and premium is going to be, it's more tailored towards SaaS companies. So if you want in charge to be your entire SaaS company email automation thing there, worries about things like your subscriptions, everything like that. That's only what the difference is in premium. Growth is more than capable for everything else. And if we go to active campaign, now you notice it's default built to yearly, but if we put it on monthly, then on the light plan, right, this isn't even including Facebook custom audiences or SMS marketing, which you get for uh, all of the growth plans inside of here as well. You'll be paying $99. And if you want landing pages and things like that, you're gonna be paying uh, almost double at 186 per month so it is extremely costly inside of active campaign if you have up to 5,000 subscribers right we're talking like 186 dollars per month whereas an in charge it's only 99 dollars plus you get all the same features once again you don't get the landing pages even if you're just doing the email marketing it's still better to use in charge reason being is you do get everything like the automation maps you also get the conditional content, the contact scoring. You also get Facebook custom audiences, everything like that inside of the uh, in charge plan. There isn't any restrictions apart from basically the transactional emails which come in um, premium and that's to do with um, SaaS subscriptions. So every other email is done in here. Now, one thing to note as well, one thing that people have been telling me a lot about inside of the Facebook group for in charge is that active campaign was just a little bit confusing to set up right so let me just show you how simple it is to use in charge so here we have a flow builder um, there is quite a few flows inside of here if you haven't got in charge i've actually got a discount code plus you get a free trial plus i got some free flows you can use but what you want to do is click on start from scratch right 
and once that loads i'll show you how quick and easy it is to build out something let's just say we have a form submitted somewhere in your ecosystem right let's just say we want to tag these customers drop in a tag connect the two together create a tag so if you're creating a brand new tag let's just say um, i'm going to call this you know um, form submitted I'll just make it generic for this example. So form submitted, click on save. That person will now be tagged once they are added in their tags, right? So let's just say one of these integration platforms, uh, one of these platforms you want to use, there's so many inside of here, right? So whichever one you want it to be, or else there's a web hook if you want that. So let's just say we want to send an email, right? Connect the two together. You can create an email on the fly. You can use it using the drag and drop builder, right? All the information's inside of here. There's even an AI copywriting tool for things like your subject lines or writing the entire emails or outline, rewriting things, you know, for split testing. All of this information's here. I'll just click save and close for this example just so you can see how easy it is. So they have been sent this email. Let's just say we want them to wait for a day, you know, drag it there, click it once, and then go here, click one day, you know, click save. It's done connect the two together you can even deliver it based on different actions right so if you only want to make them wait after they've opened or bounced or things like that you can do so here all depends on your specific needs of course i'm just going to say delivered then you can go ahead and add in another one and the great thing about this guys is you can see how big this canvas is right you can make something crazy it's literally limited to your imagination inside of here and if you wanted to add in some lead scoring you can easily do so right just connect the two together click on what you want it to be scored by right so if they open certain emails let's just say we wanted to create a condition I'll actually just disconnect this drag it out of the way and let's do a check field okay so check field means it's going to check something so let's just say there's a condition I want to see if they open my previous email let's just say it's the ebook one right click on save Let's connect the two together. If they went ahead and actually um, did open the email or whatever the activity is, let's just say yes. And then on the score, you can increase it by one, right? So this lead now has more activity. You could even do the same thing, right? You could even decrease it if you really want by one if they don't open it. So you connect these two together, put it by no, and then boom, this lead has either been scored up or scored down. And we can even send uh, emails based on this particular um, transaction as well, right? So if they haven't opened the email, we can create another email um, based on like, hey, did you see my last email? Or if they did, then we can send them other resources. Now, the cool thing about this is you can do so much with it, right? Let's just say one of our leads has gone through, visited a page inside of our ecosystem. We specify what the page is because this platform uses website tracking and if that person comes inside of here let's just say it's an investment page we might have on our website right whichever it might be so i'll just type in here uh my website real quick i don't actually have an investment page but it should still work cool what we can actually do is we can add to this as well so they're going to be going both paths if they have visited this page we can then actually send them uh, something specific based on that because we know they're inv interested in investing right so let's just say they've visited this page well if they've visited an investment page they're obviously interested in investing so we could create an email based around different investing schemes if we we're like a you know investment company or whatever it might be right we might have some articles about it so you can literally create automations based on anything you can also change uh, segments you can also a b split test all over the show send email notifications right there's just so many different things that you can do inside of here it's it's pretty crazy to think about and um once again if you are using SaaS software i've just turned off all of the different integrations um, that i haven't personally connected but you can see there's so many inside of here right there's so many different things that you can do it's uh pretty insane to think about but this is why i absolutely love in charge you can look at your entire business in one canvas and then once you actually go live, I'll show you a live flow in one of the other brands that I manage. So this is a real simple flow that I've created for this software that I'm actually um, an affiliate for. It's a, a, an offer I give to people if they sign up for free. I'm also selling the course, so it's an extremely good deal. But as you can see, once we actually go live by activating at the bottom, 
we have here the, the statistics for each step. Now they're slightly out because I added this tag a little bit later than I created all the rest of the steps. But to show you what it does, you know, 113 people have come through here, 90 have been tagged the claim, the 94 have been sent an email, 87 have waited two days, six are still waiting here. And if you see down, it's like they have this has tag FS members. Basically what, what it means is um, if I add them to the course, it's going to, um, they're going to get this tag FS members. And if they do have the tag, I want them to remove the claim tag which is this one up here. And if they don't, I want them to be sent this email, which is saying, hey, it looks like you didn't sign up for uh, using my link. So here's some other ways you can actually get the software. And as you can see, 87 people have been here. There's still a couple waiting there. Um, and 54 have got the tag. And, oh, sorry, I haven't had the tag removed. 33 um, have been sent an email and there's 17 people waiting here for 200 days. I've also changed around this. That's why it's not quite aligned. But that's just a real simple flow. And the great thing about this is we've used like I think three or four different technologies that actually talk to each other to make this entire flow automated. Whereas before I had to do so much manual effort just to make sure that everything is working. So this is incredible. And I don't believe you can actually do this in a platform like um, like Active Campaign. Whereas InCharge is a marketing automation platform. Um, which has emails as well as SMS and everything in between. Once again, you can have platforms like Twilio inside here, right? So you can send SMSs. If you've got the Intercom app, you can send messages inside of Intercom. We've also got the Facebook audiences if you want them. There's so many different powerful things inside of here that you can actually do, right? So let's just say if they got the tag, I could add them to an audience, right? I could just put them inside here customize the audience and everything's good to go it just happens automatically it's absolutely incredible and you can visualize exactly what you're trying to build instead of piecing it all together so that's one of the main reasons why i see people moving to this platform it's just so much more simple plus it is cheaper as well and um that's pretty much it guys that's why i believe this is the best active campaign alternative now active campaign has been around for a lot longer guys you have to remember and it is massive. They say they've got 150,000 businesses inside of here. But I do believe InCharge is going to catch up over the next couple of years. Once again, they are very new. But they've got so much going for them right now. So that's it, guys. Once again, if you want to get started with InCharge, I've got a 14-day trial. Plus, I also have a special collaboration with InCharge. So if you want to get, after your 14-day trials, a 50% discount on your first month, you can also do so by once again using the link in the description plus i'm also going to give you a free course that's got some of my most used workflows as well as some other resources that you can get for free lots of training inside of there it's yours if you sign up using the link below there's more information about that as well so go ahead and check it out but that's it from me guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you haven't yet Hit subscribe, I've got so much great videos coming out in the near future, how you can automate your business and save yourself a bunch of time. That's it from me, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.